Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner and I didn't bother to check <laughs> to see if this camera was decent. So the lighting looks a little bit bad on this one. Let me fix that real quick. And you guys probably hear an airplane and water in the background. That's because I have <laughs> placid plastic duck simulator running in the background. Okay, let me see if I can fix this. That looks a little bit better, I guess. Maybe. Anyhow, I don't plan on having my face on screen very much. Instead, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, <laughs> I think I'm going to have a little face cam thingy that's my plastic duck simulator thing. Anyhow, um, Don was already talking about me being in the pool. And the pool she's talking about is actually the pool that all the little duckies are in. This is a crafting stream. I am going to make a card, but I kind of like that in the background. And it also means I don't have to hear as loudly everybody banging on the roof. We're having our roof done today. So um, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm a little bit loopy. Uh, let me get back over to see what's going on in the chat. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Dawn. How are you doing? Do want to say hello to everybody in the chat. And it looks like my restream chat's not pulling up. But anyhow, um, we have got Dawn is in the chat this morning, uh, this afternoon. She's asking her first question was, Am I out of the pool yet? No. So, no, I'm not out of the pool yet. Um, Leah also was over there hanging out for a bit, watching the little ducks go around all over the place. <laughs> oh, gosh, it was fun. I mean, it was fun. I had the comfy noises in the background, so I didn't have to worry about it. And hello, Brenda. Yeah, Loopy just did it. I'm tired. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, Todd was had he had planned on having the his alarm go off at seven. He woke up before seven, and while he was in the shower, and I'm just gonna go right on back to sleep, right? As he's in the shower, we hear people walking on the roof right over our heads. I can't sleep through that. I just can't. So I've been up, and that was basically a couple of hours before I planned on getting up. I took my vitamins today too, Dawn. Um, yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just tired <laughs> and looks like somebody just popped into the pool <laughs> anyhow um yeah so i am going to be making a card today using the small the, the oh, i'm sorry the stitch die of the month from for this last month for may because it was cute and i decided yeah i had to have it so it's this guy so i went ahead and i've cut out one and i've already done stitching on a couple because you know i'm Oh, waiting for 5.30 to roll around so I can get started over here with you guys. And so I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of stitching. I hope that Dawn's feeling better too. Yes, absolutely. So anyway, um, Dawn, um, Dawn, are you planning on going live tonight? Just curious. No big deal if you are or if you're not. I mean, this is kind of a, a chill day for me, so I am not really doing a whole lot. Good job you knew we were having work done. Oh, you were having... <laughs> yeah. Leah said, good job you knew that you were having work done. Otherwise, that would have been hella freaky. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we knew they were coming. Um, we just didn't realize it was going to be quite that... Um, Oh, Dawn has guests on tonight. So you guys are going to want to stick around. Um, she is going live at 7 o'clock tonight. Um, I'm going to assume that we're going to be still watching duckies <laughs> up until time to go over to her. And um, so we will be raiding her. Let me go ahead and get that set up, assuming that it's already set up which it may or may not. Um, the way the redirection or rating works on YouTube is I'm only able to rate it or I can, I'm only able to redirect to a channel that I have set up for it. And I have to set it up to somebody who's already either scheduled or is actually live. So Don's not live right now. We are, right? Aren't Yahtzee with guests? So that it looks like is Miss Dawn. It does say it's for today. So that is set up. I am actually ahead of the game, believe it or not. That doesn't happen very often. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and switch the camera down to my desk, and we're going to start playing with this guy. This is this is the entire stitch die of the month. Um, one 
kind of a preview sneak peek for you guys. Not really a sneak, sneak, sneak peek. I told you I'm tired. But just to letting you know, um, I will be doing more Spellbinders things. I believe it starts in July where this is going to be one of my monthly things that I'm going to be getting every month. So I'm changing up which ones I'm getting and I'm going to be getting more. There's some things I really want to get the 3D embossing folder of the month still, but looks like they already had plenty of people for that one. So I'm not going to get that one. Okay. Uh, if you haven't already smashed the like, smash it for me and send me all of your positive um, energy. I need energy <laughs> for the rest of the night. Let me get this switched over to the right one. And there you can see up in the corner here, we have our duckies. <laughs> and I've got the duck background sound going. I'm debating whether or not to turn on the music, but at least we've got that. And I did name a couple of them. I'll, let me show you what it looks like big, okay? So we did name a couple of them today. One I named after my buddy Figgy, who is a streamer, and that's the one that says Fig Nut Butter. Uh, let me, <laughs> quack, quack. Let me move this screen so I can see everything. Come on, move over here. Okay, so we've got my buddy Icy Rain, which is also over on Twitch, is one of the ducks. She gets to be this little computer one. I think it is super cute. There we go. Got a bunch of little, my friend Link is on there. And this one is a mouse. Look at that. It's a mouse. <laughs> and it clicks like a mouse. The rest of them are basically ones that quack. So this is the one that I have that is going to be for Figgy. And she wears headphones while she streams, just like I do. She has a, a cute little Mario hat on today. Anyhow, I'm going to switch back over to... What did I do there? I didn't think I did anything. Let's go back to this. Anyhow. Yeah, it's just funny, right? And it's just comfy sounds in the background. So that's what I'm doing with that today. Can I name one, Dawn? Absolutely. Leah, I can definitely name you one as well. Um, I don't remember if you told me which one you wanted, but let me know. You guys let me know which one do you want. And, oh, let's see. I'm going to zoom out a bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Well, see more of it anyway. And they just wander around up there. They don't really do a whole lot. I surprise you. Hello, Cordelia. Welcome in, honey. Yeah, I'm tired, so I am not going to do that. I've actually been working on a summit video today, so I got some stuff done. Um, I mentioned last week, there's not a cow duck. I didn't find a cow duck. Well, let me let me try it. Okay, I'm going to see if I can find a cow duck. So going under collection and... Oh, I did name one. It, I did name it for you, Leah. So it's there. It just hasn't fallen into the pool yet. So that's the reason that one's not there. I did have to kind of start over at one point because I accidentally shut down the, <laughs> kind of shut down the game and had to start that one over. I need to stop working on things on your live days. I had to do something today because I was tired. Yep, this one is, is that there's another one that is black and white. And that's this one up here that looks like a panda. So there's also the, you guys can't see that. Okay. Okay, so there is this one that is Leah. And this one up here it looks like a panda. The panda is in the water. Okay. Um, I think I named myself this one last time I played it. It's not in the water. Earlier today, I named this one that has got a propeller and it flew away. It kind of escaped and went into the ocean. So, yeah, but there are a bunch of different ducks. There's a bunch of them that I don't have yet. And then these are the three that are supposed to be special. So we've got this one that has the headphones, and that's Figgy. This one is a mouse, so it's got mouse buttons. And then this one that is Icy Rain that has got clear sides and computer components on the inside you know, for some of those cool gaming computers. So anyway, that's how that one works. This is just, it's basically just something to play in the background. You don't really do anything, but it's cute. Okay, so let's get... And something just fell into the water. Uh, 
Oh, I think something went down the slide. See, there's that little slide. We've also got a flamingo float. And I have the music turned off so that it won't be any kind of a problem, assuming that there's copyright issues, which I don't think there are, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, right? Okay, so back to our regularly scheduled go to sleep stream. This is what I'm gonna be playing with today. There's not a bee duck yet. It was funny, escape duck in the ocean. Yeah, absolutely. You like the flamingo duck. Uh, that's not a flamingo duck, that's a pool float. There might be a flamingo duck. I'll have to look. I don't know when it'll fall, Leah. It basically is just, it's random. So I think when I played it before, it's been months ago when I played it before, they may have fallen faster, I don't know. Yeah, the, and then the row of ducks. <laughs> okay, okay, so there is one. Don wants the bee duck. Okay, let's see if I can find that one. And we're never going to get started on crafting, are we? Okay. So, where is the bee duck? Because I think that means Don wants it. This one has a knife. This one... Oh, the flamingo duck. Okay, so this guy right here, this one has a knife. So that means he tries to kill the... Oh, I'm not on a screen that you guys can see. Okay, I need to change that again. Um, There. This one down here, he's got a knife, so he tries to kill the flamingo. Or at least I know that he has. Are you thinking of this one as being the flamingo duck? If this one is the one that you want, then I will make it, I will make it you, Don. You want that to be you? So I think that's the only one that's just bright pink. And then we've got this other one that, that one does not look like a flamingo. So. It's in the third row. Okay, great. I'm going to name that one Dawn. Oh, the third from the end. You want this one that's got the um, got the lightning bolts? Well, I can do that. Okay, so that's going to be you. So when it pops in, it'll be you, and I will let you know when I see it, okay? <laughs> awesome. Okay, anybody else need their name on a duck before we get started? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to change this guy to not be me anymore because I was the other one. I think it's the first time I saw this played. The one with the propeller was Jack's. That was funny. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to go back and we're going to have that ocean and water from the pool sound going in the background and drowning out some of the banging on the roof. It's a good thing. I'm glad that we're getting the roof done. I've been wanting that one done and I'm so happy that it's finally getting done. Um, we have a 37 year old roof. So, yeah, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but that's one picture of the guys working on the roof. And, um, there, okay. And that's where they're having to replace a bunch of the uh, panels. And it's not really that bright in there. The exposure, for some reason, showing my phone on the screen really doesn't look good. So, but yeah, they had to replace a lot of it. So uh, my bedroom, this is like over, that's actually like over my closet and part of the bathroom. And then 
there's a ship out to sea and then further down is is directly over my bedroom so yeah we've had some leaking problems and some of the boards todd had replaced a while back but yeah so we're having that all done today they're going to be back out in the morning hello bitty penny how are you did i not ch i did change it okay i keep looking at uh, at youtube studio and it keeps showing me old frames it's like i don't know what's going on with that so <clears throat> you're gonna hear um bitty penny you're gonna hear ocean and the pool sounds so i'm playing a game in the background it is plastic placid i'm sorry placid plastic duct simulator and it's got yeah it's got it's got rubber duckies so anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out another panel like this one, just so you guys can see. And I'm probably going to do more than one card total once I do that one. But, and I'm using the Stitch Die of the Month for May. I do not have the one for June. This is where I decided I wanted it, I needed it, and I bought it. <laughs> so it's not one of the ones that um, I get each month from Spellbinders. And this is an A2 size card front, so I'm basically just going to tape it onto a card front. And everything just slid all over the place. I think the ducks were attacking, right? Did the ducks attack me? You guys might be able to see that little computer one. It's starting to narrow in on that one. Yeah, I love that computer one. That was just too funny. So I'm just taping it on there. It is going to cut through the tape, but at least that way I have it pretty much lined up with my A2 size card front. I'm um, going to just run it through. <laughs> Sweet gaming and crafting at the same time. And it's a game I don't have to do anything, but just listen. Ah, oh, that is not why I'm always tired. <laughs> no, right now I'm tired because I had to get up too friggin' early in the morning. Okay. So this is the panel that this guy cuts out. So we've got two of them, two balloons that are for stitching. Hello, Miss Linda Gorman. How are you? And I don't have those on. I need to turn those on. There we go. I was wondering why my effects were not working. I do need to reposition them because I don't like the positioning on them, but that's okay. So we've got two that cut out for these. And we've got two more balloons that are solid. And then we've got some embossed lines, which you can't really see. Embossed line for two balloons. So you can put your stitched ones over the top or you can use your solid ones over the top and i'm thinking the rest of this would be great for a shaker so that is what i'm gonna make today i've already done a little bit of the stitching on a couple of them so i was doing that i don't know for like maybe 20 30 minutes ish maybe i don't know um, but I was just doing some easy stitching while the game was playing in the background and I was waiting for it to get closer to time. And today I was mostly just working on a video that I need to get finished up for a summit coming up. I mentioned to you guys that I'm in a summit. Yeah, that is, it's, it's irritating that the noise is, is interrupting me. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm in the Scrapbooking Fun Summit coming up this next month. I did go ahead and bring out card that I made for the summit. So this is what I'm making in the summit that's coming up in July. And if there's not a link down below for that, which there's not, I will add it in a few minutes. Actually, I think, oh, I think I fixed that part. Let me see what is the command, because I don't remember. There is a command for me to do it, and I fixed it. I found out why it wasn't working last week when I was trying to add them into the chat, and that was because something was not connected. Uh, let me make sure that that is connected. 
Okay, it is, which is awesome. And then command. I thought I set up that command. Or maybe I didn't set up a command, but I had a button. That's right. Okay, that's what it was. So this should add it into the chat. There we go. There is the link to be able to get your ticket for the summit. That was the thing that wasn't working last week. One of the things. So for some reason, at some point, my YouTube disconnected from my streamer bot, so all of the things were not working. Anything that was triggered by a YouTube thing wasn't working. Anything that made it where I wanted it to go into YouTube wasn't working. Okay, so we've got these. Since I've already got a couple of balloons stitched up, I'm probably going to do those tonight too, just depending on time. But at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and add some color to this first. Um, and I do like playing with the Simon Hurley lately because I just got those inks in. So let's do that. I think I've got a blue. Yes, I have a blue. And that's one of the ones I want to do. And I have a yellow and I have a green. I think that would be fun. Maybe I'll put some red in too. Just a kind of rainbow thing. That'd be cool. And yes, I know. I need to get more Simon Hurley, right? Okay, thank you so much, Brent. I know it's going to be fun. That's the thing. With the summits, first off, they're free. And they have, you have a lot of fun. And a lot of people that you get to watch their stuff. So yeah, I'm glad that you guys are going to come and join us and have a great time. But my next one is going to be in July, and that one is a Christmas in July kind of thing. One, two, three. Do I have a green? Yes, I have a green brush. I'm just going to do some light coloring on here. I'm not going to do anything crazy. But I do have, um, I am in, going to be in one for Christmas, and this one is kind of odd. This, or at least odd for me, because you guys know the stuff that I work with already. This one is a Cricut Joy Summit, um, the one that's coming up in July. Um, I don't have a Cricut. I don't have a Cricut Joy. But I do have a scan and cut, and I can I can figure out, and I did figure out how I can use the Canvas workspace to kind of, I mean, the... Cricut design space to be able to teach this. So I just finished getting that one done. Hello, Miss Donna. And this is one of the things, it is a Christmas in July, but this is one of the things that I just made for that summit. So that video I'm, is the one I was editing today and I will be doing that for the summer. So that'll be fun. Anybody that I miss, Eden Maddox, hello and welcome, welcome, welcome. So we got a couple of Brits in the house. Awesome. Okay, I think I'm going to start with, well, first off, let me put my colors in RGB. So we've got green, I'm sorry, red, yellow, and blue, and then green, and then, yeah. Okay. That'll work. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the blue at the bottom. And I'm not doing a lot, but since this one has already been die cut, it's going to give a little bit extra texture to where those cuts are. Okay, then I'm going to go with the red at the top. Actually, take that back. I'm going to do the yellow first because I do not want to contaminate my yellow pad. And that sometimes happens. So yellow is in the middle.
And I'm bringing it up a little bit because I'm going to have the red and the yellow overlapping each other. So it's going to be a little bit orange here in the middle. And I've got green, which is later gator that I'm going to, that I'm going to go down a little bit further. And overlap a little bit of the blue. <laughs> okay, Cordelia, thank you, honey. She says, if anyone who just joined us is wondering, Debbie J is getting a new roof. Yes, I am. That is part of the reason that we have the Placid Duck Simulator playing up here in the corner. And we've got the sound from it going on, too. So we've got water and beachy and pool sounds going on to try to drown out some of the hammering. Oh, that's nice. I do like the way that this is looking. It's also, because these are die cut out already, it's adding a little bit of dimension to the edges where those are cut. So it's a little bit darker in those areas. I am being careful, though, because I don't want to crumple my paper. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I'm thinking I may want to go higher, though, with the yellow. That is cool looking. I like that. Oh, you didn't hear the banging until it was mentioned. <laughs> I can hear it. And if the sound was turned off on this, and you guys can hear the... You guys can still hear all of the water and everything from the, from the ducky. The duckies, right? Like that big splash. <clears throat> Just confirming, you guys can hear the splash, right? Okay, so now we're going to come in with some of the red. Hello, Miss Gloria. How are you doing? Okay, so I'm bringing in the red up at the top. And I'm going to come into some, a little bit of that yellow to try to make an orange. I may have to come back in with the, yeah, I'm going to have to come back in with the yellow. It's trying not to, because I don't want to contaminate the color at all, but it's going to happen. I will just have to clean it. Okay. Okay. That is kind of cool though. And the color does look deeper on my end. I think I might have a little bit too much. I think my camera may be a little bit overexposed, which basically means that I need to do an adjustment because you guys need to be able to see this because this looks cool. I am going to add some more blue down to the bottom. I think I'm probably going to add a little bit more color all the way. Add some more of the red. We'll start with the red and let me see what I can do. You had three big orders today. Awesome. So Gloria is tired too. We're all tired and we all want to hang out at the pool, right? Um. Okay, so now you can see the color a little bit better. Okay. So let me add a little bit more red up at the top. <laughs> Leah says, I'm tired because of the real life pool. <laughs> okay, adding some more red in up at the top. And then I'm going to add some more blue down to the bottom. So that was bee sting. So we've got bee sting, slippery when wet, later gator, and remember me. Who's making all that noise at my house? Exactly. We're having a roof put in, honey. 
That's one reason why we have the ducks hanging out. I spent most of the day today working on some other things. Yeah, working on some editing and all, and having um, placid, 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 plastic duck simulator playing in the background with it with its music to try to help and drown out the sound. And right now, this is bugging me enough. I think I'm going to turn the music on so it's not not quite so bad. I could have just said no to the stream, but you know. Okay, so that is on. Let me turn it up. Okay, so now we've got a pretty background, and I can make another one if I want. Let me clean some of this up. If the music is too loud, let me know. <laughs> I locked it and covered and trying to get out. Oh my god, Leah. You are too funny. Okay, let me dry this. Are you an Indian in the cupboard? <laughs> oh, I was thinking more Harry Potter, you know? It's too loud. Okay. Thanks, hon. How's that? Is that better, Donna? Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Donna. Adding a little water. For that splatter look. So that looks cool. <laughs> the, the, that make music is making you swing. <laughs> oh, Leo is in the cupboard. Okay. Oh, you were too funny. Okay. So now, it's time to play with some new phone tape. And I ordered a couple more rolls of this stuff last week. Actually, first I need to put some acetate behind my little guys there before, because it'll be easier, before I put the tape down, right? And I know I have some somewhere. Ooh. Again, sorry for the yawning. I think I have some in this drawer. Yeah, I found a bunch of copyright free music. As long as I remember to add the, um, I could use some of this plastic. Um, as long as I remember to add the accreditation down at the bottom. So if you're ever interested in any of the music that I have playing on my channel, there are a bunch of. You're, there's always going to be an accreditation thing down at the bottom of the, the description. And the guy who does this one is name his name is Kevin McLeod. And I'm looking. I could have sworn I had some in here. I don't want to have to go hunting for it. Do, do, do. At least you have something to look at while I'm doing other things. <laughs> I think I'm just going to use some of my recycled plastic. I was... Thing is, most of those are like the sleeves. And I'd rather it be a little bit better. Because I don't think I have any in this binder that's not... That's the right kind. 
<laughs> who locked him in the cupboard. Okay. That does not go in there. I actually need them. also means that because this is a pocket or a I, I froze for a second yeah I saw that what did the roofers do oh my god well it's where we had to get a, we needed a new roof our roof was 37 years old and no I did not know that until Todd actually looked at how old the house was because it's the original roof so we needed one badly and he kept having to go up on the roof to make any kind of repairs okay this is gonna be cool okay I am gonna trim it actually I'm gonna put it to the edge and I'm gonna trim it off the side when I'm done and because there's so little space up there I'm gonna put this part down with just liquid glue Roofers? What roofers? It's me in the cupboard. <laughs> yeah, Leah decided to come for a visit, but you know what? We really didn't have any space, so we just put her in. Oh, maybe they cut off my internet. Okay. But um, we decided to just put Leah in a cabinet instead because we just didn't have any room for her. So that is her vacation room. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this down. I'm just going to line it up pretty much with this edge and then I'm going to trim off the other sides because, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Leah came for a visit, decided she was too loopy, so locked her away. <laughs> we don't have any, we don't have any, um, uh, straight jackets. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm gonna go ahead and trim the excess off and because I want to make sure it's straight I'm gonna use my paper trimmer because yeah I'm not gonna be able to cut anything straight today Deb, hey the padded cupboard <laughs> Okay, you guys probably remember Make It With Me. She was on here with us live. I think it was about a year or so ago. It's been a while. I guess I did line it all the way up over there. Okay, I was thinking I was having to trim all of them. So I'm just trimming a little bit of that plastic off. Actually, I wanna make sure it's straight and this side I can actually touch up against the edge. Okay, there we go. So I'm just trimming off the excess. There we go. So now we have the front of our shh. This side's not done. It's not right. It's crooked. Let me get the rest of that plastic. Sometimes plastic does not want to get cut. I could write a book. Leah and the padded cupboard. <laughs> I am trying to trim that off. I think it's close enough. I'm going to say it's close enough. Okay, now I can use Now I can use this stuff. So this is double thick foam tape. That's one reason why I'm using it for this is because it is double thick. This is the brand new stuff from Pear Blossom Press. And you probably notice that up at the top, there's really not enough room there, right? So I'm gonna cut a teeny weeny bit and hopefully it'll be big enough. Okay. 
Actually, I'm only going to do a tiny bit to try to get in just that spot. Why am I so hilarious today? Ha 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 ha! I'm crying at myself. Okay, so that side's going to be fine. I need to do the other two sides really, really, really skinny again. And I really just need enough of this really skinny part to go right on that edge. So I'm going to leave, put a little bit right there and then a little bit right there. Okay. Now I'm going to put more to go all the way around our little guys there. Uh, while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and cut this in half and then I can kind of curve it around a couple of those balloons. as if Dawn's going live she better get ready for me ha <laughs> oh you are a you are a hoot tonight Leah okay most of you guys know the trick for curving your foam just taking the tape off of both sides and now I'm just gonna curve it around Just making sure not to cover where my balloon is, that's all. There we go. <laughs> it's currently 11.14 where Leah is. It's only going to get worse. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just curving it around. And I'm going to say that they can be joined right there, and that's going to be one of my wells for my shakers. That worked well. Now I'm just going to trim that off of the edge. Yeah, I think I made it. Well, now that I'm thinking about all of this, I think I'm going to have to change my mind on it. Yeah. So I'm going to use a pouch instead. And I don't want to throw away any of that. Yeah, I'm going to have to use a pouch instead because... Otherwise, this there's just not enough room on the sides for me to be able to do um, foam. There's just not enough room because of the way that this is designed. So, yeah, I guess I'm not going to do it that way. Let me grab out another one of... Another one out of here. That's too big. This one's probably about the right size. Who's Alf? What? Alf used to say, ha, crack me up. You don't know who Alf is? Alf, Alf was an alien and he was fun. And, and then I can do a full front shaker for the back. Yes. So now I need to find me some patterned paper I want to use behind my lovely, um, my lovely balloons. So what do I have? So that's probably too much blue. There's stripes, there's solid. I want rainbow. It's black and white. Could do black and white dots or stripes. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. 
because these guys are also going to go in front. So I've got a couple of balloons in the front, but I don't think the dots are going to be bright. You wish I you had seven stomachs? I didn't freeze. <laughs> I'm just not oh, in front of the camera. Okay, Halloween's not going to work. Pink's not going to work. Golds, maybe. I'm breaking up. Okay. It does say that there is a buffering issue. Why is there a buffering issue? Um, sorry, guys. Okay. It's not raining here. Now it says that my stream is healthy. So it basically stopped working well for a bit. I don't really know why. Okay. Give me a sec. I need to get some more paper because I don't think the dots are going to do it for me. Oh, here's a sheet. This might work. I'm not 100% sure. You guys are going to have to tell me. Or is that too much? So now I'm debating, do I want to go with the pattern? Do I want to go, you know, with these big dots? Do I want to go with the black and white? Do I want to go with just white behind them? So what do you guys think? Yeah, Donna, there was something going on with my internet, apparently, because, um, yeah, the stream was fine one moment. It's, it, there's a thing inside YouTube Studio. Yeah, that is a bit busy, but thinking that might work better, the white. What do you think? The black and white. Okay, you guys all like the black and white, so that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, black and white. And then just make sure it's white enough. Yep, perfect. Let's trim off the bottom. Do I need to make you guys vote? <laughs> Linda and Leah both like the black and white. Donna likes the white. And Deb likes the circles. The colorful circles. And then I've also got this one that is kind of a blue-green. Almost a watercolor look behind it too. But I, again, it's where I don't know. Let's see if I can move it over enough so that you guys can see all the options. So what do you think? Now Donna says she likes the green. Okay, Gloria says the circles. So we've got, here's the circles. And then here's the blue green. <laughs> Gloria and Donna are going to fight. <laughs> and then Leah says, black and white dots, please. And she's banging on the door to get out. <laughs> Brenda, you're not allowed to leave. Bye, Brenda. So you like that blue green? Yeah, well I might one of my favorites, of course. Is that my teal blue green? I know. I'm just wondering if it's too. Hmm. 
Maybe I can do a couple of different ones. I could do that. So this is what we're going to do. Let me get the papers out of the way. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut us some bits. Put one of the stitch balloons next to the green. Yep. We've got one of those. Then... Hello, Pam. How are you doing, honey? Okay, so we've got those two, and then we've got this one with all these bright colors. And then the last one can stay white. I'm thinking, let me see. So I'm kind of now just kind of, that's going to look cool. I do like that. That's going to look good. The reason I was not sure how I wanted to do with the blue green is because of this blue green strip down here because that would have been too much in that area. But I think this is going to work. Although I think I'm going to put this one here and then leave that one white. Okay, so that's what we're going with. Okay, so now I'm going to glue them down onto here and try to remember what I just did. So the white staying over there. I need to trim this down a little bit more. So um, you probably told me, Pam, where in um, Florida are you? Because I am in, I am in Central Florida. Uh, thank you so much, Donna. Okay, we've got that one. Okay, and this black and white is gonna go here. Let me try trimming it down a little bit more. One of the nice things. Okay, you're right here then. I'm up in Sanford. So that means that Pam is probably about 45 minutes away from me. Did you go to the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo? Okay, so that one goes there. And let's trim the green down a little bit more. And I'm just want, I'm trimming this down to make sure that it doesn't show behind a couple of other, one of the other balloons, because that would kind of suck, <laughs> you know? Oh gosh, yeah, well, I got to, I actually got to go this year. I was helping Amanda at Pear Blossom Press and we made some light up cars and I was working the um, the make and take and we had so much fun. 
That's just all there is to it. Okay. So this is going to be... I mean, I don't have to... I don't even have to do it as a shaker, but I have to do it as a shaker, right? Yep, everybody got their way on the card. Absolutely. So for the shaker, I'm going to use this. And... Let's see, do I have enough space? I am really debating. I could just slide it in, but that means that the shaker bits are probably going to get caught on some of the paper. And that's one thing I don't really like about whole front ones. But, okay, something happened with the ducks. Oh, it was the, they went up the tube. Okay. But if I put it over the top, that'll work. Oh, thank you so much, Buddy Penny. So this is how we're going to do this. I got some tape. I'm going to tape it around the back. And is this too wide? Nope, I think this might be the perfect width. You could just make your one with a shaker. <laughs> I have a little trouble being able to read sometimes the chat because of this little heart thingy, which I love. And I love being able to add a little hearts to people's streams. But I can't read what the word last person said, like the one word in one of the sentences. Let me go ahead and just put this down. You could just make the white one a shaker. Now I have to do... No, no, no. I have to do the rainbow one as a shaker too. This is going to be fun. Because these would also be awesome to do as a light-up card, too. But I just made a, a light-up card last... Well, I just made two light-up cards last week on streams. Um, both of which... Well, one had... I'm trying to remember. One of them, I know, had balloons. Balloons are so easy to do as a shaker, I mean, as a, a light up card, because I kind of think of them as, you know, they're translucent and the light shows through from the back. So that would be cool, right? Okay. So, Pokey Tool. Okay, I'm going to do it on this side. I want to make sure I've got enough room. What I really need is some good full front infinity shaker pouches. And I should have gotten some from Amanda because she had the pear blossom press. I mean, she had the rabbit hole design ones. She's got those in her shop and she had them at the expo last week and I should have gotten them. Okay, I am putting it on there crooked. Let's try this again. Okay, that'll work. Ah! <laughs> okay, now that I've got that about where I want it, I'm going to trim off the end here. And then we're going to do catty corner. I don't want to do catty corner. This is a full pocket. I am going to do three sides on there first, and then I'm going to fill it up with my shaker bits. And then, then we can put that front cover on. Okay, there we go. That works. I do have to say that these um, pockets from your stamps, they are easier to move around. They're a lot easier to finagle around than... I think that's going to be okay. It's not going to let anything escape. Uh, but it's easier to move around than acetate is. But that also means it's not as strong as acetate, so it's easier to poke through it. So I went ahead and... 
got out some stuff that I haven't gotten out in a long time. I've got a couple of these craft mates containers that I always forget are in a cabinet. And that's got some of my Betty type of shaker bits. Like I said, I forget that they're there. So I'm going to use some of my birthday ones. My little party hats. And I'm looking for... Yeah, that was just the um, the cruise liner going past, guys. Nothing to worry about. You know, we are all good. I know I have a spoon around here somewhere. But maybe I don't. Oh. I hope y'all are being entertained by the boat. And by the duckies. Duckies are cute. And I'm looking in the drawers to see if I can find where I thought I had one of the little spoons so I could scoop these things out. It looks like I don't have one, so I'll have to use I'll have to use a spatula that's not really gonna work. So now I can open it up i'm making sure i open it up this way because the thing is i don't want it the only reason i don't want it in next to the card is because i don't want them to get caught on my uh, on the papers that i put on there yeah i can't do that Let's put some little hats in there put a lot of hats in there like i said this stuff has been sitting there forever and this is basically party scatter confetti from the uh, from I think it was from party city and i haven't used them in like forever and i've got this batch that's all stuck together yeah let's separate some of those guys out so far so good has somebody, has anyone heard of a store named Global Land? Go, Global Land. Global Land. Um, they sell craft items. I have not heard of the store. I have kind of decided that I don't know that I want to go to um, Hobby Lobby much anymore. I did go in there last week. Got some stars here too I'm going to put in. Uh, these I think I got from Michael's or something. <laughs> uh, anyway. I went into Hobby Lobby last week, and there are a couple of things in there that I'm happy that they have, but they really don't have any dyes at all. I know someone had mentioned it, and of course I had to go and check and see if my store was the same, which I was assuming. But yeah, it's basically they got rid of all die cutting things. So no, no Sizzix and no... Um, no spell binders and no memory to, uh, i trying to remember what it was. I think they had their own brand. They don't have any of that stuff anymore. I think that's gonna be enough. You will have to shake it to be able to see it. Um, but I also have this that I've had in my stash for probably two years too. And this has got a bunch of little seed beads. This is another thing I got at Michael's ages ago. Uh, but the, the positive is they now have got um, Art Esprit. Art Esprit is now in there. Uh, let's see. I think I want to add, I think I want to add some blues because I really don't have any blues in there. So this is one of those things that's a little tricky to come off with. Somebody said, um, Pam, that somebody said that um, there was some kind of a, of a disagreement between Hobby Lobby and um, 
Come on. Like between Hobby Lobby and Sizzix. So I don't know. Also saw that apparently there was some kind of a sale of the company or it was given to charity or something like that. It was the weirdest thing. It's like the company, the owners decided not to give it to their kids. They're adult children. Instead, they decided that they are going. They did, were going to donate the entire company to charity because they didn't feel that it was right for them to actually make any money. And the way I've always looked at things is that you can't help other people if you're broke. I am double checking to make sure I didn't get any behind there. Okay, everything looks good. And these guys are hard to deal with. These are ones that I would definitely need a spoon for if I could find one. I know I've got one around here somewhere, but that's okay. And seed beads are really good because they make basically help your shakers shake more and kind of mix up the sequins because the sequins are bigger. These are smaller and they're not quite, they're not nearly as, as small as glitter. But it helps everything to shake around a bit more. There we go. Now things are starting to move. And everything I'm using in here so far is basically flat because this is going to be a flat shaker. And here I am wanting to add more stuff into it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say, I'm going to have to say that that's done. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it is sad. I don't know. I mean, I, I get that everybody's got their own personal beliefs, but some of the stuff that, that, that different companies have done just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I was introduced to Hobby Lobby 12 years ago when I was planning my wedding because a friend of mine told me, oh my God, they have all these cool things and you can use them to, you know, to make stuff for your wedding. And hey, they have tool. I bought a ton of tool with their 40% off coupon, which is great. And that was my introduction to them. And then when I started doing paper crafting, I just started falling in love with all of the things. I probably should have sealed this up before attaching it to the back. I'm talking about this one strip because I had to attach both the, the inside and the outside of the plastic together. Probably should have just, just done the this part first and then folded it over, but you know, this will be okay. Okay, so now our full front front shaker is not shaking because there's not enough air in there. That was what I didn't do. Okay, let's try that one more time. So I'm gonna try to detach this part. Don't you love it when things work out, but then they don't. And that's why we have our pokey tool. And if I have to, I've also got my um, undo over here. I went ahead and bought a new bottle. Okay, come on. Now this tape is not repositionable like the foam tape is. Okay. Okay, hopefully that is enough air in there to be able to shake. There we go. That's better. Okay, now I've got all the pieces loose. Awesome. That works good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put double-sided tape over the 
entire back, well, most of the back of this, at least the edges. So that we can attach it to that infinity shaker. Yay. I definitely have to say I love listening to music while I'm working on stuff because you know what I lose track of time and then I'm not nearly as as stressed it doesn't feel you know like it's it doesn't it's not stressful let's just put it that way music definitely helps Okay, making sure I have plenty to go across on that plastic. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. This, mo this morning I worked on my card front for hours to get it just right and <laughs> And I did it. I said, I've done that before too many times to count. Um, one thing you can do is cut the card base so that it is pretty much, you know, part of your background and glue it onto another one. And that is probably my preferred method when I'm when I want to make sure I don't mess up what I've worked so hard on. But you really can't say that this is working hard, right? This is fun. Okay. So now I'm going to try not to keep my fingers in the, the sticky. And I'm going to hold this up up against the bottom of my desk so that I can line up the bottom, okay? Okay. And then I'm going to say that that is good enough. Now it is overlapping just a little bit because what I should have done is trimmed the background panel down just a little bit, but hey, I'm going to say it's good enough. Okay. Then we have these little guys, I am going to pop them up on some foam. But for this, I think I'm going to use my scotch because it's not that thick and we've already got a little bit of dimension there. Yep, Donna is saying I like listening to top hits or an ebook while crafting. Absolutely. I have this bad habit of listening to people play games like Fortnite. I know, I know. If I if, if Fortnite is being played, I'm playing it. I'm not actually listening to it usually. If it's Jax, because she is friggin' hilarious, especially when she's been drinking. I absolutely love her, but I mean, it's just funny. But then again, I am somewhat easily amused. That's why I married my husband. Yeah, no. Bum, bum, bum. Podcasts are great too. Yeah, I haven't done a lot with that. I am starting my own um, podcast. Basically, the um, the Q and A's that I've done recently. Get yeah, this one's going to the bottom. Uh, but the, I've got a couple of Q and A's that I put into a pod podcast playlist here on YouTube because that's something that's new from YouTube. And it's like, okay, I'll give it a try and see how that does. But I haven't really done anything with it. This is something that I heard about probably within like the last month or so. But it is kind of a cool idea. But with what we do, it's a little bit tougher to do um, a podcast or a, an audio only thing when so much of our stuff is visual. Okay, let me grab out a card base, which I'm pretty sure I have some cut over here. Did I fold some? 
I know I cut some, but I thought I folded some too. I guess I didn't fold any. Okay, there we go. Let me just score that. I promise next week it won't be a lot of music in the background. I know sometimes the music and stuff bugs people and I can't say I blame you. It's like if you're wanting to hear what somebody's saying, sometimes having having a little bit much sound, extra sound, is not a good thing. Okay, so the top here. Yeah. I am going to trim this little bit off there so that it actually closes up well. Now I'm putting more score tape. Actually, this is this is scrapbook.com score tape. So I'm putting it on the edges and across the back so it holds really well to my card base and I'm going to be careful not not to um yeah, put it on upside down. Cuz that would really it's harder to fix it when it is score tape. It's not like if I if I were to use um, one of my dot runners, it wouldn't be that big of a deal to pull it off and put it back on if I did it wrong. But score tape, nope, score tape holds it very, very well, which is kind of the point. <laughs> That's cool. It's going to go that way. Also being careful not to pull up the plastic because that would kind of suck. There we go. Two sides. Yay. Yeah, I had no idea how long these guys were going to be here with the roof. But they got a lot done today. So they basically have stripped off all of the old shingles, all of the tar paper, and um okay now i'm gonna lay it down right flat so that we can get it on there straight is that straight i'm gonna say that that's good enough <laughs> yeah i really do think that i should have trimmed the card panel the background card the back card panel down more because now we've got this little bit of a lip over the side, but I think it's turned out still pretty cute. And that's the thing, whenever you do something the first time around and it's not exactly the way you want, that also teaches you how to fix it for next time. And I do like the splatter on there. The splatter weren't out great. It kind of looks like confetti going up in the air. So I really, really like that. Okay, I am gonna do something that I have not been doing as much and um, it's just is a time thing. It's just to be, I don't know if I want to do it every week, but this week, how about if we give this card away? And I can still put a sentiment on there. Let me see. What sentiments do I have? First, I'm going to make sure that my glue is not going to dry out. So I'm putting my glue topper. I keep bending the <laughs> I keep bending the pen. I am so so sorry, Gloria. I do because I took put too much pressure on it when I'm trying to get it to go back in there. And it's just because I leave let it sit and stuff winds up. Yeah, the glue, yeah. The glue gets hard and then it doesn't want to go through. Okay. So some of the sentiments that I have out on my desk are some foil ones from one of the last, well, one of my previous things. I haven't done it. So we've got congrats. Oh, I like this one. You're pretty amazing. I think that's going to be it. Yep. <laughs> Donna says, sure, I'll 
I'll take it. You have my address. That will save time. <laughs> yeah, I do like this, and I think it turned out cute. Oh, by the way, the stitching was really, really easy because I didn't actually do any stitching in front of you guys, right? So each of these is basically just a center hole and then all the holes all the way around. It's just kind of bloop, 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 bloop. And that's it. That's all it takes to do that, that simple stitching. But like I said, I am going to be doing more stitch cards before long because I did volunteer to do the stitching of the month. So that'll be fun. Okay, let me go ahead and start pulling names. So if you are in the, if you have said anything in the chat, then your name is automatically in the drawing. Let me get that pulled up. So if you are, um, if you are right now, my brain just stopped for a second. Um, if you are lurking in the chat and I'm mean, lurking in the stream and you are not in the chat yet, if you haven't said anything in the chat, please go ahead and do so if you would like to be in the running for this card. Actually got it, even got a couple of extra balloons, which is cool, which means on this, you could have put solid balloons instead of the stitched ones. Yeah, you know, if. Okay, so let me grab this real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and run with it. Give me just a second so I can pull this piece up. If I can remember where it is. Well, that's wrong. Okay. There we go. And now we got the right one up. <laughs> oh, and assuming that you can still hear me. Okay. Um, and bringing the music back up and fixing that because that looks really screwy. There we go. Now it's in the center. Awesome. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, Bitty Penny. Love you, hon. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we are going to, um, yeah, we're going to spend for this thing. So I've got 10 people. 10 people have said something in the chat. So that's all the people. They get to kind of, yeah, that's all the people, right? Does anybody else want to say hello in the chat? If you haven't said hello yet, then you may not get in on the, the drawing. So if you have not already said hello in the chat, be sure to go ahead and do so. Okay, looks like that's it. Okay. <laughs> what must not, must that? It must just be mine. Mine. Oh, is it messing up again? It says that the stream is fine. I am so sorry, guys. I have no idea what happened there. Okay, let me go ahead and we're going to go ahead and spin for a winner. And it is Pam.
Pamela Albright, congratulations. So Pamela, be sure to send me um, your um, address. You can send that to me at Debbie J at Debbie J's Crafting Corner, or you can message me on Facebook or Discord with your address, and I will mail that out for you. Yay, Pamela, awesomeness. So congratulations on that. I'm going to bring the game up <laughs> because I can. It's my stream. I can do what I want. So here are our little duckies. <laughs> okay, I will bring this back up first. Let's go ahead and look at the card. So here we go. This is the card that is going to be going out to Miss Linda. And I'm first going to put down this one, which says, you're, you're pretty amazing. I think I like it up here. I'm just going to glue that on. Could do foam, but I'm not going to do it this time, I don't think. And since we're finishing up, I do want to go ahead and remind you guys of a couple of things. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Um, first off, uh, there is the summit that is coming up on June the 7th, I think. It's like a couple of weeks away. Uh, that is scrapbooking. It's the actually it's a scrapbooking fun. So there's going to be scrapbook paper, uh, scrapbooking people, and there's going to be I got to turn that down just a little bit. Sorry. Um, I forgot where my duckies sound is. To me, it sounds a little bit loud. So let me turn it down. There we go. So anyway. There is the scrapbooking fun um, scrapbooking fun summit that is coming up soon. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the chat real quick, partially because then I'll be able to see the date because I don't remember. I think it is on the 6th of the 7th through the 11th. And I do know that my presentation is on the 11th. Okay, mine is going to be on the 11th. And there are also a lot of us are going to be doing um, Q and A's, live Q and A's. So that's going to be fun too. And the project that I'm going to be doing is this guy. So I'm doing a light up card that is going to be super, super fun. So that is happening on the 11th. You do want to go ahead and get your ticket. So the link is now down in the, in the chat for you and just checking, make sure it's still moving. Okay. Anyhow, <laughs> so there's that. Then what's the next thing? I closed too many windows all at once. Um, the next one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I have a new class coming up. The one that is going to happen in June is going to be I'm going to be making a card using lights again. So light up card for the summit light up card is going to be the next class. And I've got a brand new subscription. So if you're wanting to get in on the craft along and possibly save a little bit of money, um, then you can sign up for the subscription to save a little bit. You would just basically go on the three month um, three. Yeah, every three month plan. Anyway, let me go ahead and put that there. And you can, of course, check out all of the information um, on the website. Um, I don't think I have this part turned on, but that's okay. Oh, I do. Okay. So the craft along card class subscription, um, you can see that over on my website. Turned that off. Okay. And yeah, like I said, the next class is coming up. I think it's on the 20th of June. I'd have to, no, it's on the 17th, 17th of June. Um, I will have to look at the web at my website just to double check and make sure, but that website is Debbie J at Debbie. It's edu.debbyjscraftingcorner.com. And you can see all of the things over there. And hopefully I will have time to work on them again before too long. Okay. So it is now 7.02, so Dawn is probably not in the chat anymore. Instead, she's going to be over on her site, and it looks like some of you guys have already popped off and gone over there. So we're going to go ahead and end the stream right now so that you guys can go and hang out with Dawn over on her channel. So you guys have a wonderful night, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.